Atmosphere and Hydrosphere 1. The Atmosphere, the Composition and Layers The Earth on which we live has three spheres, the Atmosphere, the Hydrosphere and the Lithosphere. The air surrounding the earth is called the atmosphere. It extends several hundred kilometers upwards from the earth's surface. The atmosphere is a mixture of several gases. Nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide are important gases of the atmosphere. Oxygen is regarded as the breath of life. Without it, life would not be possible. The lower layer of atmosphere contains more water vapor and particles of dust. The air gradually becomes thinner as we go up into the upper layers of the atmosphere. Layers in the atmosphere The atmosphere is usually divided into three important layers. They are called the trophosphere, the stratosphere and the ionosphere. There is no sharp boundary between them. The troposphere is the densest part of the atmosphere. Its height varies between 8 and 18 kilometers from the Earth's surface. All the changes in the weather takes place in troposphere only. This dense layer protects us from the sun's heat during day and keeps the Earth's surface warm at night. The layer lying above the trophosphere is stratosphere. It extends up to a height of about 80 kilometers. Aeroplanes fly in this layer. The layer above the stratosphere is called the ionosphere. Ionosphere extends to a height of about 1050 kilometers. This layer reflects the radio waves back to the surface of the Earth. 2. Atmosphere Temperature Horizontal and Vertical Distribution The sun is the main source of heat. It constantly radiates heat. It gives out heat in all directions. The heat given out by the sun is called solar radiation. The Earth being small and far away from the sun receives a small amount of solar radiation. This small fraction of heat received by the earth is known as insulation. The word insulation means incoming solar radiation. Distribution of temperature The distribution of temperature on the earth's surface is not uniform. The most important factors Influencing the horizontal and vertical distribution of temperature are latitude, altitude and distance from the sea. Latitude The temperature decreases from the equator to the poles. Temperature tends to decrease with increase in latitude. Torrid zone is very hot and the frigid zone is very cold. Altitude Temperature generally decreases as we move away from the Earth's surface to higher elevations. It is cooler on mountain top than at its foot. Temperature drops approximately at the rate of 1 degree Celsius for every 165 meters of ascent. Simla is cooler than Luthiana though they are located more or less on the same latitude. Distance from the sea. Land absorbs heat and radiates heat more rapidly than water. The sea breeze reduces the temperature on the coastal regions. So, the coastal regions are cooler than the interior regions. Vishakapatnam, which is on the sea coast, is cooler than Hyderabad or Guntur, which are in interior region. 3. Atmosphere, Pressure and Winds Air, like any other object, has weight and exerts pressure. Atmospheric pressure is the weight of vertical column of air at a certain place. 
द इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच मेजर्स एयर प्रेशर इज नोन एज बैरोमीटर डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर वैरीज फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस एंड टाइम टू टाइम द डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर एट सी लेवल इज द हाइएस्ट एंड इट गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग विथ एल्टीट्यूड एयर मूव फ्रॉम हाइयर प्रेशर टू लोअर प्रेशर एरियाज एयर प्रेशर चेंजेस ड्यू टू चेंजेस इन टेम्परेचर एयर मूविंग हॉरिजेंटली अलॉन्ग द यर्थ सरफेस इज नोन एज विंड ए मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर अपवर्ड्स और डाउनवर्ड्स इज ऑफ एन कॉल्ड एयर करंट टाइप्स ऑफ विंड्स द मेन टाइप्स ऑफ विंड्स और वन प्लानिटरी विंड्स और प्रिवेलिंग विंड्स टू पीरियोडिक विंड्स थ्री लोकल विंड्स Winds which blow constantly in a particular direction from high pressure to low pressure areas are known as planetary winds. Monsoon winds occur mostly in the tropical region. Local winds blow over small areas. These winds last for a short period of time. Most of them are seasonal and have local names. 4 atmosphere humidity and precipitation humidity the amount of invisible water vapor present in the atmosphere is known as humidity the humidity of the air is closely related to its temperature when temperature and humidity are high we feel uncomfortable when water changes into vapor it is said to evaporate and this process is known as evaporation the process in which water vapor changes into water or snow is called condensation precipitation this fall of moisture is known as precipitation precipitation may take place in the form of rain dew snow hail or fog rain falling of big drops of water from the clouds is known as rain rainfall is measured by rain gauge rainfall is of three kinds they are relief rain convectional rain and cyclonic rain the mountain ranges in the path of a rain bearing wind causes the wind to rise rising air expands and cools down and gets saturated further ascent leads to rainfall this type of rainfall is known as relief rainfall relief rainfall is common in the mountainous regions rains caused by whirling storms is called cyclonic rain in a cyclone winds blow in from every side towards the center of it the whirling air rises up and causes rain 5 hydrosphere ocean water all the water bodies present on the earth's surface are collectively known as hydrosphere the earth is known as watery planet as it is the only planet containing water in abundance ocean water is always saline it contains several mineral salts dissolved in it the degree of salinity changes from one part of the ocean to another the salinity is influenced by temperature and precipitation 6 hydrosphere ocean currents ocean currents in the oceans water is formed to move from one part to another in big streams these streams which flow constantly in a definite direction on the surface of the ocean are called ocean currents the ocean currents are mainly caused by the prevailing winds differences in temperatures and salinity of the ocean water north and south equatorial currents the gulf stream and the labrador current are some of the important ocean currents
7. Hydrosphere Tides The alternate rising and falling of the sea water generally twice a day is called the tide. The rising of sea level is called high tide and its falling is known as low tide. Tides are caused mainly by the attraction of the moon and the sun. The moon, the earth and the sun are in a straight line on new moon, that is Amavasya, and full moon, that is Purnima days. The gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on those days causes very high tides known as spring tides. The tides are of great help to fishing trade and navigation.